Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official WOW Insider Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you some of my favorite stories from WOWinsider.com for the week of November 10th, 2012. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. We all know that patch 5.1 is right around the corner, and with this patch we will see major nerfs to some old world bosses, including High Warlord Nagentis, Razor Gore the Untamed, and Viscidus. The content should be soloable, making it much easier to obtain transmog as well as the new battle pets also being added in patch 5.1. Blizzard community manager Daxari recently posted about an arena exploit that allowed players to dodge unfavorable team compositions without losing any MMR. Wind trading and exploiting in arena is strictly prohibited, and Blizzard will be taking action against those cheating to boost their arena rating. The World of Warcraft in-game holiday event Pilgrim's Bounty is taking place this year between November 18th and November 24th. Although it is not part of the meta achievement what a long stream trip it's been, it does reward both a title and a pet that can be used in pet battles. If you'd like to obtain this achievement and haven't done so yet, Wild Insider has posted an in-depth guide on how to get every achievement so you can get your very own plump turkey. For more information on this or anything else I talked about today, check out the links in the info below. Megablox has launched a World of Warcraft Toymation animated series on their YouTube channel. The series will follow a human paladin and the vicious orcs that are pursuing him. Colton! Orcs! Orcs! Prepare yourself! To see the full episode and to subscribe to Megablox YouTube channel, check out the links in the info below. Just as a reminder, the Battle.net World Championship livestream kicks off today at 6 p.m. Pacific Time. The stream will include 30 events, including the StarCraft II Global Finals, the World of Warcraft Arena Global Finals, as well as a Challenge Mode Dungeon Competition. There will be more than $500,000 in prizes given away. The entire stream is free, live, and in HD. If you'd like to watch along or to see a list of all of the events, check out the links in the info below. Last up today is our breakfast topic, and I think today's is a pretty fun one. Do you have any characters with an ugly face? Why or why not? Me personally, I can't say that I do, although for a while I did run around with an undead death knight who was male and was missing his jaw, and he was pretty scary looking, and I made him because he was scary looking, but now, uh, <laughs> now he is a female blood elf, so uh, the ugly didn't last long. But what about you? Do you have any characters that you made ugly? Why? Why not? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're thinking about that, check out our answer to last week's question. And thanks so much for watching the WoW Insider Weekly Review. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please like and answer the question in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check back next Friday and every Friday to see if your answer is in our featured comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I love you all. You're in my heart. So I'll see you soon. Bye.